coach was talking about, you know, having a, a new set of eyes come in and evaluate. I imagine that sort of gave you another, a second life that may I go out there and prove that I deserve to be out there on the field. Uh, yes, but also kind of attacked this opportunity the same way I attacked it when I was playing behind Tariq. Because uh, even though I was the primary backup last year and he's gone, I kind of felt like if I came in with the attitude of this spot's mine, then I'm pretty much going to stay at the same level that I was at. Because even though if I am or become the uh, starter for this season, I still have other DBs to beat out, not only in our conference, but also throughout the, uh, throughout the country. So. You and Derek. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like me and Derek have a pretty good chemistry uh, the last two seasons here. Uh, me and Derek were the primary backups at similar positions, so the communication of um, getting the calls to each other or the sky is it kind of feels like second nature because we've been doing it for so long. So now I'm just getting the chance to do it with the first group and then show coach our, um, our communication and like our connection also helps. Okay. Are you asking, uh, does having two coaches coach two position groups kind of affect the communication rather right. than, yeah. okay. Uh, it helps some because we all get to meet in the same meeting room and we all getting the same corrections. So we're the safeties are hearing the uh, corners corrections and the corners are hearing the safeties corrections. So we pretty much know like if the corners mess up in a certain area, the safety kind of feels, uh, understands how they messed up and why they messed up where in the past we had two separate meeting rooms and we'll occasionally meet together where we were never, we weren't always on the same page to where we got the correct checks between the corner and safety to where now since we're in the same room, we're able to have a debate and conversation all at once to get a check under control or the certain communication under control. Uh, I feel like the DB room is uh, has a lot of depth. Uh, young guys that catch my eyes: uh, Jalen Marshall, Sarah Bryant, Kari uh, G, and then uh, Amari. Uh, they bring a lot of energy to the room, and although um, they don't understand the playbook fully yet, they give great effort and they ask a lot of questions in the room because they're trying to. The playbook's new for everyone right now, but there's some similarities to where people from last year that got a chance to uh, play a good amount. It's easier for us to kind of like catch on to those certain little slight changes to where people that didn't get to play or new to the program haven't, but just them being engaged, asking questions, and still going out there trying their best running around. Um, what they say, make a mistake at 100%, that's what they go out there and do. So they still got a lot to learn, but they're out there trying. Go. Have you guys changed the way you Uh, no, there's not that many changes at uh, safety or corner. I think uh, people that played strong last year, still strong, nickel, still at nickel, and free, still at free. Uh, we never really played a true boundary or field type corner, so both our corners got no both field and boundary. So there wasn't that many changes. The only changes are the uh, newcomers. That's about it. Uh, more terminology, uh, a little bit scheme. I remember, uh, if you remember, we ran kind of a three, three two five or three three five look yesterday. I mean last year, but now we're running more of a uh, four two five look this year. So that's where it is scheme wise, but terminology is the main um, main change throughout our playbook. Rod and Kelly brought Rod when you started and Kelly wrapped us up. Yeah. Uh, 
we talked to the coach earlier about notice you guys coming off the field talking to you, talking to each other, saying, hey, this is what I did on this play, maybe I should have done that. How has the communication been, you know, after the place like that? Uh, they've been uh, pretty cordial for the most part. Uh, it's all about how you approach each other. You can't come off yelling or because we're all men. You don't like the way that someone will come over there and just attack you. So it's been more of like a, uh, a mutual understanding between what happened on that play. And then at the end, we pretty much say, all right, next play. And then we'll just watch it and correct it down the film. Uh, personally, coverage piece, uh, I felt like that uh, I didn't get the opportunity to cover as much as I would like. So this spring, I'm focusing more on um, being tight in coverage. And then the second thing, which is a, a DB thing for the safeties and the nickel, our rotations and our disguises, um, that's a big emphasis that we're having of holding our shell, don't give any cues away to the QB or anything like that. So being, uh, just being like keyed in on our rotation and coverage for the most piece. Awesome, thank you, Joe. Thank you.